Hello, Rebel practitioners. This is Ali Nassam. Welcome to another Friday question session. Today's question comes from one of our viewers, Dr. Rima Asaf, who asks, I want to ask why do we need to check tug back for master apical cone if bioceramic sealer together with the coated gutta percha cone will fit the apical one third? That's a great question. So let's get to it. Okay, so in order to answer the question of whether we need tug back with the bioceramic sealer and the modern hydraulic condensation and bonded uh, obturation techniques, we first have to kind of revisit the idea of what is tug back in endodontics. Historically, we've always needed to have tug back when you fit a master cone in order to make sure that you have a very tight fit between the gutta percha and the dentinal wall and the apical five millimeter of the root. So tug back has historically been a feeling of when you pull the cone out that you're getting resistance. So it's had to do with the resistance form of uh, the cone fit. And the main reason for that has been to get a close adaptation of the gutta percha to the dentinal wall. And that goes back to the history of the requirement of the minimization of the sealer interface, which has been the axiom that has been leading endodontics for the past you know, 20, 30 years. Again, if you go back to some of the other tutorials we've done in the past about bonded obturation, we basically claimed that we are now able to get uh, rid of the idea of minimizing the sealer interface by uh, having bonded obturation between the sealer and the dentinal wall and the BC gutta percha cone. Therefore, if we follow that principle, the idea of the requirement of tug back is really something of the past. Now, you would need to have tug back still if you're using lateral and vertical condensation using zinc oxide eugenol based sealers or resin based sealers. However, if you're using bioceramics, you really don't need to have tug back anymore. So that brings up another question of well, if we don't need tug back, why do we even need gutta percha? Well, the idea of need for gutta percha goes back to the uh, responsible education component of Freeable Dendo's mission statement. We uh, talk about responsible education in the sense that we're not advocating the use of bioceramic to fill the entire canal because what ends up happening in some cases that will render the root canal non-retreatable. We all know that the success and failure of a case is primarily dependent on its adequate cleaning and disinfection of the root canal. So in case if somebody is actually unable to do a good job cleaning and disinfecting the canal and fills it, we want to make sure that somebody else will have a chance to redo that case and the case has to be retreatable. As a result, Rewaldendo has devised this hydraulic condensation and bonded obturation technique that requires the use of a main cone still in the middle of the canal. So 